Over in the primate house, the buffy-headed capuchins are up to their usual monkey business. There are five young boys in this family. The oldest being six-year-old Rocky. Rocky's personality is definitely a bit of a troublemaker. He's at an age now where he's starting to push the boundaries a little bit. Probably getting a little bit big for his boots, maybe. But still not quite there as a, a big adult male yet. Rocky's almost seven. The age capuchins should have learnt all the monkey skills they need to go off and start their own families. They're like, you know, little sponges. They're, they're constantly taking in and soaking up information from, from all angles. The more they can do that, the better and the quicker they'll develop and, and become successful adults. It's up to Mum Maud and Dad Eubank to try and teach Rocky and his brothers everything they need to know. Can't imagine <laughs> what it'd be like with five boys. It'd be a handful, yeah. A lot of hard work. However, Dad Eubank doesn't seem fully committed to helping out with Rocky and the boys. Eubank can be very playful, but he can also be kind of, you know, like a bit standoffish and a bit a bit nervous. So one minute he might want to play with the youngsters, but then he might decide that actually, no, he's, he, he's not interested in that. He wants to go off and do something else. So he can change his mind quite quickly, shall we say. 28-year-old Maud has been left to teach son Rocky and her other boys how to behave like adults. Today's lesson, stripping bark from trees. At certain times of the year, I think the bark's more beneficial to them and more nutritious. They'll sort of strip the bark and, and eat different parts of it. It's definitely a useful skill to have. Most of the boys are following their mum's lead. But Rocky doesn't seem interested. It's really important that capuchins don't fall behind in their development. Obviously, they need to learn all these vital skills. If they're not picking up the behaviours that they need too quickly, they become a bit more vulnerable. If Rocky doesn't start paying attention to his mum, he'll find that he won't have the skills needed to go on and start his own family. It's 1pm, and that means playtime for the buffy-headed capuchins. But Maud's eldest son, Rocky, needs to knuckle down. He has to master some essential monkey skills if he's to become a successful dominant male. It's the first time the young capuchins have seen these logs. The capuchins will spot anything new in their home straight away. They'll instantly know if something's a bit different. Predators, as well as food, can be hidden inside logs in the wild. Suddenly, Rocky doesn't feel so cocky. Maud takes it upon herself to carry out the important safety inspection. interesting when you do give them something new just to see what the reaction is because sometimes though they'll be like oh, actually a bit hesitant. Maud will sometimes step in if the boys are a little bit unsure of a new object. They will be really intent in watching what she's doing and how she's manipulating something. Hidden in the tubes are a capuchin's favourite snack. Mealworms. They just need to get to them. We obviously try and present them with sort of similar opportunities to what they have in the wild. It's really important that they all learn valuable life lessons. The problem solving behavior, foraging for food, that's all really important, even in captivity. I wouldn't eat a mealworm myself, but it's all very tasty for them. 
Maud has already learned that by rolling the tube, the mealworms will fall out. Rocky appears to be paying attention for once. They obviously will realise they're not getting the food eventually and they'll probably spend maybe a little bit more time watching and just seeing actually how the adults do it, but they definitely aren't very good at it at first. They have to learn. It's not long before he's trying out the theory. Rocky seems to have got the message that by following his mum's lead, he'll get ahead in life. People say the mums know best, and in Maud's case, it's definitely true. She's definitely a leader. And Rocky's now one step closer to becoming a leader himself. In the Capuchin house, Maud's eldest son, Rocky, is seven today. Over the last two months, he's come on in leaps and bounds with his education. He's a really inquisitive animal and he's really sweet. Obviously, he has his naughty side, but that's what makes him quite endearing. <laughs> Today, he faces his final exam. Mexican-style piñatas have been provided for his party. But will his foraging training from Mum help him to break into them to get to the food? I think Rocky's at an age now where he, he is ready to, you know, be in his own group and become the dominant male. After less than a minute, Rocky gets his present. And watching Mum Maud is suitably impressed. Rocky will soon be heading to another zoo to start his own family, leaving Maud with just the four young tearaways to train up. I don't think Maud's life's going to get any quieter. She's still got the four other boys to think about. I can't imagine them sitting still for long for her to teach them, so I'd rather her than me. <laughs>